This is a Ramana Maharshi clip, a talk by Ramana Maharshi with comments by Richard Clark. This is a time to listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is from talk number 95. Part one, a question was raised as follows by Major A.W. Chadwick. Mr. Edward Carpenter, a certain mystic, has written a book that he had self-realization on some occasions and that its effects lasted sometimes afterwards, only to be gradually lost. Whereas Sri Ramana Gita says, Granthi, the knot that is bondage, snapped once is snapped forever. In the case of this mystic, the bondage seems to have persisted even after self realization. How can it be so? The master cited Kavalya as follows. The disciple, after realizing the all shining, unitary, unbroken state of being knowledge bliss, surrendered himself to the master and humbly prayed to know how he could repay the master's grace. The master said, my reward consists in your permanent unbroken bliss. Do not slip away from it. Having once experienced the supreme bliss, how can one stay away from it? Maharshi, oh yes, it happens. The predisposition adhering to him from time immemorial will draw him out. And so, ignorance overtakes him. This dialogue goes into the topic of self-realization and why some people, even after experiencing it, seem to lose the profound effects of this realization. Major Chadwick presents a question based on the writings of mystic Edward Carpenter who claimed to have experienced self-realization at times, but found the effects gradually fading. This contrasts with the teaching of the Sri Ramana Gita, which says that once the granthi or bondage is snapped through self-realization, it is snapped forever. This apparent paradox raises questions about the enduring nature of self-realization. Ramana Maharshi responds by citing a story from the Kavalya Upanishad. This Upanishad describes the self-realized as one who, quote, feels himself only as the one divine essence that lives in all." End quote. In this story, a disciple who had realized the state of the all-shining, unitary, unbroken being, knowledge, bliss, sought to know how he could repay his master's grace. The master's response is crucial. My reward consists in your permanent unbroken bliss. Do not slip away from it. Ramana's words emphasize that the true reward for both the disciple and the master is the disciple's permanent state of unbroken bliss, which is the essence of self-realization. However, the concern is that someone who has tasted the supreme bliss 
could stray away from it. Maharshi explains that despite the initial experience of supreme bliss, seekers can still move out of it. This happens because of their vasanas, the predispositions and latent tendencies they hold to. These deep-seated habits can draw them away from the state of self-realization. This leads to temporary lapses in the experience of that profound inner truth. These habits are based on misidentifications and the associated seeking of happiness from sources where lasting happiness is not found. This dialogue highlights the idea that while self-realization is a profound and transformative experience, it doesn't guarantee a continuous, unbroken state of realization. Vasanas, influences from your conditioning and habit, still cause moments of forgetfulness until they are resolved. It underscores the importance of persistent self-inquiry and self-awareness in maintaining the realization of your true nature as taught by Ramana Maharshi. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now.